Hello my dear family members, I hope all of you are preparing well for your upcoming Accenture exam. Today I am going to share one coding question which was asked on 27th or 28th or 29th August. I can't remember that day properly but still the question was asked on 2nd August that means today okay. So I hope you will keep watching till the end. Just please subscribe and motivate me to make more content on this channel okay. So actually before starting the showing you actual question I want to clear one your doubt that is in exam you will have one function template okay in function template you will see one exception called throw special feature okay okay so the, i mean the name of the exception can be different okay let's say you are asked to solve a problem uh, replace all one with zero okay so for this particular problem you will see that the uh, replace inbuilt function will be disabled is disabled okay because uh, they are asking you to replace all one with one with zero and you are not following any logic you are not implementing in logic so this doesn't make sense okay so that's why they will disable replace inbuilt function in this case but other inbuilt function will be enabled okay so don't worry about that so for that reason they are using this exception so that you can't use the inbuilt function which was directly asked you to solve the problem okay so i hope you remember let's say this was given at the end of the function okay you just you will have one space here to write your code to write your code okay so in this space you you write your full code so in this space you write your uh, like logic syntax all these things okay so i hope you will remember it so let's go to the question part so the question is bouncing ball okay and on 16th august one question was asked regarding rebound height and that question was repeated on 22nd 23rd 24th i mean most of the time and from the same concept the bouncing ball question was asked right so actually the question asking you to return the distance of the ball travels and basically you have to implement this formula h into pow en comma 2 okay so en is equal to velocity by number of bounds you will you will be given all the information just broadly okay and input specification is this like if height is 10 if velocity is 20 if a bounce is 5 number of bounds is 5 then how much distance distance is it will cover that is 160 unit okay how because let's say uh 10 that is height okay 10 that is height then uh then pow okay pow so pow means power okay power of en comma 2 so en is equal to velocity by number of bounds so velocity is equal to 20 by 5 so 20 by 5 is equal to 4 so en is equal to 4 okay en is equal to 4 so 10 into 4 to the power 2 4 to the power 2 okay so this means 4 to the power 2 so 4 to the power 2 means 16 so 16 multiplied 10 is equal to 160 that's why this okay actually this in this type of problem you will see one uh, like you, you may face time complexity okay and you also may face like a type casting problem that's why they ask this type of easy problem so i hope you will keep remembering it okay so let's go to the solution part so as i have got some feedback like people want python solution at first they then they want java solution so i'll start with python solutions today okay so as you can see the question is very easy okay yeah, i mean answer is also easy you just have to take the height velocity and bounds as input and if it is not taken already in the main function then take it by yourself okay and uh, then result and it is taking the integer value okay it is taking the integer value of whatever the function is returning okay and just printing this result i hope you understood so the function is taking three arguments that is height velocity and bounces so in this en variable we are uh, implementing the formula okay velocity by bounces and this is the output that is total distance is equal to height multiply en to the power 2 okay in python we, we don't we can use like pow and also we can use this double asterisk so that we can get the power okay so i hope you understood just after that we are returning sorry after that we are just returning total distance okay so let's see i hope uh, this is fine as you can see i have already uh, checked it okay 
so let's say the second sample input is uh mm, what let's say it is 30 okay and this is 5 so um, output should be 360 okay as expected okay so i hope you understood so let's go to the java part so still if you want the prime materials then please damn me at me study instagram.com slash technology there i have included all the necessary stuff okay so i hope you will keep remember it okay so uh, actually let's go to the solution part in java so in uh, main function as you can see we have taken the height velocity and bounces then we are storing the values then we are storing the value uh, inside result variable whatever the total distance function is returning uh, in the form of integer okay so i hope you understood so let's go to the implementation of the function so it is returning a double value okay whatever uh, we are getting we are cu type casting to the integer part okay so uh, it is taking three arguments that is height velocity half bounces and just uh, taking double variable and implementing the formulas okay and as you can see math dot pow en comma two this is how we uh, get the value of power okay so i hope you will remember this so let's run it and see if this is giving right output or not so 160 as i have already checked this is fine and for let's say 30 the output should be 360 okay sorry output should be 360 okay and uh 360 okay so i hope uh, this much of discussion is enough for today's session so if you still have any issue if you didn't understand yet then please let me know in the comment section or you can join our telegram channel t.me slash webcanna or you can suggest me which content do you want more and whatever suggestion you can give you can give in the comment section okay so i'll give importance okay so and uh, at the end i would again uh, request you to please have the prime materials of essential or any company that you want this will obviously help you to crack your exam okay so i hope you remember thank you for today's session